A family is grieving tonight after a 16-year-old is shot and killed late last night in Chicago's Auburn Gresham neighborhood. That teen was also the grandson of well-known community activist Reverend Robin Hood. NBC 5's V. Wynn spoke to Reverend Hood this afternoon and has the story. He's a good kid. Very good kid. I don't think anybody could say anything bad about him. Reverend Robin Hood of Redeem Outreach Ministry says he and his family are hurting right now after losing his 16 year old grandson, Rashawn Hood. We called him Tiny Man because he was short in stature. And ever since he was a little boy, he was just like this tiny kid that could talk. Reverend Hood says his grandson meant the world to him. He loved playing basketball and would have turned 17 in November. He was his father's only son. He's going to feel that. His mother, she's going to feel that. So <clears throat> I'm just going to miss him. Family says the teen was out with two friends last night in the Auburn Gresham neighborhood when someone fired shots. Rashawn was shot in the chest. He died at Comer Children's Hospital. I don't know what happened. All I know is he was shot and killed on the streets of Chicago. And that is totally unacceptable. Investigators spent hours processing the crime scene on the sidewalk near 81st and Elizabeth Street. Video from last night shows them looking for evidence in the grass. We need to bring these killers to justice. We can't just allow this to happen. The Reverend has been working over the years to stop the violence and never imagined it would hit this close to home. Because if they shoot my grandson, guess who got next? Your child, your daughter, your son, your grandson. So we have to stand up as a community. So far this year, Chicago police say there have been more than 1,300 shootings reported across the city. While Chicago police say the numbers are down, one shooting is one too many for Reverend Hood, who's now left planning his grandson's funeral. Our society as a whole, our country as a whole, if we don't get a handle on this gun violence, all our kids are going to end up shot and dead. Police are still investigating the motive of the shooting that killed the Reverend's grandson. He is pleading for any witnesses in that neighborhood with any information to please come forward. Reporting from Chicago Police Headquarters, V1 NBC5 News.